Well, I read the Jujutsu Kaisen manga and I'm depressed now. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Ali. Um I I don't even know where to begin. What like where do we even begin? I I guess we should begin at the beginning. So <laughs> obviously I'm going to be doing a somewhat comprehensive review and reaction to um, Jujutsu Kaisen, the manga. Um, I recently have caught up on it. Um, I'm in pain. Like, I'm in so much pain. I don't even know where, I don't, where do I even begin? I'm in so much pain. But I guess we should start with a disclaimer. Obviously, we're talking about the manga. Obviously, we're talking about spoilers. If you're anime only, um, watch at your own risk. If you're not anime only and you read the manga, again, watch at your own risk because I'm gonna like, we're, we're gonna relive some trauma today, honestly. All right, so first things first, um, uh, what? As a person who watched the anime and then started reading the manga i read the manga from the beginning i always do that with animes that i'm watching if i'm gonna read the manga i'm gonna read the manga from the beginning um and you know just as devastating the second time you know all the devastating parts just as devastating all of the funny parts just as funny um and then like we get to the part where the anime ends so if you're anime only the anime ends on chapter 60 62 between those two chapters i believe and then there's like a nice little there's a nice little like filler chapter in there um, that I think personally should have been included in the anime because considering what happens next, which is Gojo's entire fucking backstory, like I feel like we should have gotten that little reprieve at the beginning. But like actually now looking back on it and knowing that there's no more filler after that, like yes, that chapter is technically a filler chapter, but since it's in the manga, it's canon anyway um they just don't do anything serious in that chapter but like now looking back on it how like there's nothing else no more fun times after that chapter um i can see why that's where they chose to stop the anime if we're being super honest because they could have just went one more episode over and just gave us that episode with that girl who comes back from yuji's middle school but they didn't and looking back on it you know what <laughs> character by character or should we mm. see i don't even know where to begin i don't even know where to begin i'm hello darkness my old friend i'm genuinely devastated like i don't <laughs> is this what it's like when you have like good characters this is what it's like when a series has good characters and then like you know rips them away from you with like just like fucking give me that bitch you don't fucking need it also gojo let's start with gojo like uh, the entire world revolved around him like and, and uh, that's not even an exaggeration the entire world revolved around gojo because as soon as gojo was taken out of the equation the world went to shit like y'all don't think that's a little weird or a little like like bothersome like the entire jujutsu sorcery world knew all of the curses knew they all knew if jo if gojo was taken out of the equation like they would have the strongest advantage and they would win and i just feel like as the jujutsu sorcery society you should have a backup plan because gojo's going to die eventually like he is still human he does still age like a normal person so i feel like they should have had some type of backup plan being like okay yeah Gojo is the strongest person out here and he's keeping the world together pretty much um but if something were to happen to him like he dies in a car crash or something like not that that would ever happen to him because you know the whole invisible field thing but like if something were to happen to him like did they have a contingency plan what if Gojo just became evil like what if he was just like fuck you all of you I'm gonna go uh, do whatever the fuck I want like what if he had just become evil like, they had no contingency plan for that. None. Whatsoever. They had no contingency plan, and that bothers me. Because as soon as Gojo was taken out of the equation, he's not even dead. He's just incapacitated. So as soon as he got taken out of the equation, where were y'all? Y'all had nothing. Y'all were like, 
And then you made it your priority to get him back, which honestly led to the downfall of literally everything else. Like, also, feeding into this man's ego, do we really need to do that? Do we really need to feed into this? No. Like, <laughs> I was reading... One of the bonus chapters, or one of the, like, point one chapters that they have is, like, him, they were doing, like, karaoke or something, um, and Gojo was there, and they were like, oh, does Gojo, ca can Gojo not sing because he wasn't singing? And he's like, haha, we finally found your weakness, and then he was like, no, by the author's standards, in every way, except for my personality, I am perfect. And I was just like, oh my god. So Gojo's gone now. And the world has gone to shit. The Shibuya incident arc is 50 plus chapters. 50 plus chapters of Gege stepping on my neck. Stepping on my neck and not letting up. Not one breather. Every single time you think you're going to get a breather, every single time you're like, okay, well, that battle is over. I guess we can take a step. Bre nope. Every like for 50 chapters straight, it was just one thing after another, after another, after another, after another. Stop! <laughs> He's already dead. And it was great. I'm not saying it was great. It was great. Um, but it emotionally drained me. Sukuna came out, and I was just like, why? <laughs> Why are we doing like we knew this was gonna happen like I we all like I was just like Sakuna's gonna come out at some point But oh my fucking god Th That little little what Jogo that's his name the little uh Volcano man dude <sighs> And then they had the nerve they had the nerve at the end of Jogo's life to be all like oh You were strong stand proud stand proud Half of the cast is KIA question mark right now. And you really want me to stand proud? And then he cries and I'm supposed to feel bad. I was supposed to feel bad that this man is gonna die. Like, wait, uh, stand proud. Look, come Half of the cast at this point, KIA question mark. And you want me to feel sympathy? Like, I get it. And I did. I did feel sympathy. I was like, oh. But at the same time, I was like, Nana means dead. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, I just... Oh my god. I miss Norabara so much. So much. She didn't need to die. Nana mean made sense from like a, you know, mentor, mentee standpoint. But Norabara? Norabara? She did not need to go. I... I am in actual shambles. Like, I think about her and I literally start crying. Like, I last night, because I pretty much, the last like 48 hours, I was pretty much binge reading the whole thing. Because once you start reading the Shibuya incident arc, you're not gonna wanna stop. You're gonna keep going over. You're just gonna keep bullying your way through the whole fucking thing. I did not take a breather until the end of that arc. So, the last 48 hours is like, that's what I've been reading. And. I, I haven't coped and I don't think anybody in the show has coped either because there was no break There was no filler. There was no filler between this arc the Shibuya incident arc and whatever the next arc is gonna be the culling game arc There's no filler the filler the filler that we got the break that we got was Maki destroying the Zenin clan Do y'all realize that like that is the filler that we got? That was our break. That was our reprieve. And it was great. It was cathartic. If we're being super honest, Maki going in, becoming pretty much Toji and like decimating, abolishing, that's the word for it. She abolished the Zenin clan um, was the most cathartic thing that I've seen for this entire fucking series thus far. Like literally her, she abolished, abolished. She said defund, abolish. <laughs> that's what she said. She said, Azab, bitch. <laughs> All didn't need bastards, but she said, oh, ballish. And that's exactly what she did. And I was just sitting there the whole time, like, absolutely. Tear it all down. Burn it all the fuck down. It needs to fucking go. I was so... I am in shambles. I don't think you would... And then Yuta had the nerve. They had the nerve to pull a fast one on me and really make me think that Yuta was really about to be an enemy in these streets. I'm like... 
the nerve the nerve all of the students are best friends that's in my brain in my brain all of the students are best friends you have the nerve to have you to come up in here acting like he doesn't know what's going on like i really was i was i was just sitting there like this the whole time reading that because i was just like can we please not do this right now like can we please not do this right now oh okay. mm, my boy inumaki just casually because like that's what i was th in my head i was like okay if the sakuna did the thing but like inumaki was he was there so what happened to him what happened and then like we see that he got his fucking arm ripped off i and then nothing we get nothing is fucking toto is he alive is he even alive I had to take a little break. I was getting a little, a little heated there. I is, is Toto alive? Is he alive? I don't see why he wouldn't be. Um, I, we don't get a. There's no break. There's no break. The funniest thing that happened in that entire arc was Choso realizing that. Itadori is his younger brother, which even that wasn't funny because the like the like the implications of all of that and putting to it I thought that was a joke. I saw that in the fandom, like people were talking about it. Not that I thought I knew that like in canon. I thought it was like like how Toto calls Yuji like his brother. That's what I thought was gonna happen. Something like that. Because during their fight, I was like, oh, like something like that is gonna happen. Yuji's gonna save him or some some shit like that. And then like he's just gonna be like, Oh, you're my younger brother now, or whatever, because all of his other brothers are dead. Like, that's what I thought was gonna happen. And I thought it was a joke. No. He's his actual biological brother. What? <laughs> One thing after another, after another, after another. It's just And we don't even get we don't even get we don't even get the like the we don't even get the pleasure of watching Mahito die. We don't get that. He just gets absorbed. And by that standards, he's not dead in my eyes. Like I know like he's just he's gone technically because uh fake ghetto which are also like there's a menace in your society. There is a man literally pretending to be other people in your society like cutting people lobotomies in the brain. Lobotomies and we're just out here and no one knew this man was out. He was out here impregnating people. And we don't even get, we don't even get the like satisfaction of Yuji beating, because he was going to beat him. We don't even get that satisfaction. And now it looks like we won't get that satisfaction because he's been absorbed by fake ghetto. Like I'm, <clears throat> the emotional turmoil that I have been put in through this manga and you know, I was thinking about this the other day. I was wondering why, why, if you don't know Uniqlo, which is a clothing store, this is where I got this shirt from. This is a Jujutsu Kaisen manga shirt. Um, and if you don't know, they they had this drop and it like a lot of it sold out like pretty quickly. Um, and they have a manga, this was the manga version of the drop and they're having an anime version of the drop. And I was wondering, I was sitting there wondering to myself, why did Norabara, in the manga drop sell out so quickly she sold out the quickest out of all of them all sizes gone in the warehouse because i literally went to the store because it was sold out online so i went to like the physical store and they were like yeah she's like gone like that pink shirt is gone like it's not even in the warehouse they're sold out everywhere there's none in the warehouse to even restock <laughs> hi so i'm editing this video like right now um it's currently like midnight almost 1 a.m. but who cares you know I'm that hustle grind whatever the fuck anyway point is I was going to find a a um a picture of the shirt uh from Uniqlo uh and it led me to eBay and then also Grailed which is a site that's specifically for like hard to find like stuff like designer stuff and like also just other like hard to find uh clothing products and I find the shirt, because I didn't get to buy the shirt because it sold out. And I found it on Grailed. And it's a 2X, which is a little bit too large for me. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, so this is this is the shirt. 
um, horrible zoom here, horrible zoom, uh, yeah, but this is the shirt, apparently it's a US, to, the US at double XL, which usually I just get a regular XL, and so, and it's only $15, oh, $25 shipping, huh, Jesus, mm, we'll see, we'll see, because they have other ones on eBay as well, I mean, if it's, if it's literally, like, free shipping, I'll fucking get it, but yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to say that, <laughs> I just wanted to say that, just in case you're wondering where all my money goes, uh, <laughs> do you, my face, at first, when I heard that, I was like, oh my god, yes, Nora Barr getting the respect she deserves because she's a queen. She's fucking strong as fuck. And I know, like, half of the people who bought those shirts probably are like me at the time were anime only and had only, like, known her interactions from then. So, like, that's probably why we wanted the shirt. But now, the last 48 hours have changed my perspective on that completely. I don't... I don't know what to do. I am an emotional, like every time I think about Nora Barra, I am an emotional turmoil. You don't, you know what? I am an emotional turmoil. She was my favorite character and she's gone. This is what happens when you make good characters because in other shows, like in other series, like I'm gonna shout out like uh, Demon Slayer. Like Demon Slayer had good characters, but a lot of the like characters who end up, spoiler alert, like dying, didn't really get that much like character development so when they did die it was sad obviously because Demon Slayer is a sad like show sad manga I finished the manga but like when those characters die you're kind of like mm, I didn't get enough time with you to really like feel it especially at the end of the manga like when spoiler alert if you haven't read that they're dropping like fucking flies and some of the characters are just kind of like well like I feel sad because you know tragic anime backstory but like at the same time you didn't really you didn't really offer me that much, so I can't really, like, I'm mourning over you, but like, you know. But this, 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 this manga, this manga, and it's not even done. We're not even in the endgame. At least in Demon Slayer, it was endgame. So you knew that whoever died, it's, it's like, okay, they're dead. But like, you know, whoever survives, you're like, you know, they're gonna survive because it's endgame. It's the final, we're done. But like, we're not even in in game. I don't even know if this culling game, the next arc, is in game. Is that the end game? Is it are we done after that, or is there more? I genuinely do not even know. So I can't even be like, well, at least the people who survived the Shibuya incident arc are gonna survive. I can't even say that because I feel like there are still some people in my head that are still like could die, like in the like in the instance. If we're going off of the logic of how people died in the Shibuya incident arc, like. There are still people who can do that. And when the characters, the thing about Jujutsu Kaisen characters is every single character is written so fucking well. Like every single character. So you feel attached. And that's also, I think, the thing about Jujutsu Kaisen is that all the characters are connected and they see, they feel like a family. They feel like friends. Whereas like Demon Slayer, it, there was that rift between like the main three characters and like the pillars. And it wasn't until the very end that that like kind of got thing. But even then, like I said, there wasn't, there wasn't much time with them together for me to really be like, oh man. But like, and Jujutsu Kaisen, everybody like they're in high school together. It's a very small class. They're all like, they're all friends. They're all, they're all like fucking this. Like everybody knows each other and they're all like, but even the like Kyoto school, after everything that I, I went through, they're all friends now. And then the Shibuya incident fucking happens. It's just, it's, uh. And, and so when a character is like gone, you fucking feel that. Like, you feel that shit, especially from Yuji's point of view. My boy, my poor boy. <laughs> the emotional, the emotional fucking turmoil this boy has gone through. I. Oh, and it's not over. It's not over. And also Megumi, before I forget, Megumi, they keep saying this man, he's going to be the next uh, strongest person because like, it, like uh, every single arc, they keep saying that he is going to be the strongest, like every single arc. And I already know that he's going to be the one to defeat Sukuna in the end. I don't think it's going to be Sukuna versus Yuji. I think it's going to be Sukuna versus Megumi because that battle has to happen regardless. And obviously Megumi is going to win. Like everyone's like once he reaches his full realized potential yada 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 
And I think you're correct. And, and I have to agree. Like, he's reaching Gojo status. Literally, even Gojo was like, you're going to reach my status by, like, the time this is all over. Which is... And, of course, Megumi doesn't believe that right now. But, like, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for it. Anyway, uh, I was going to wrap this up by saying, um... Anime watchers have no idea what they're in for. Like, literally, that's the next arc. The next arc should just, like... Like we were we were on a nice little roller coaster of up and downs with the anime and now it's just <laughs> but like in a good way, in the best way possible. This like Jujutsu Kaisen is is that bitch. She's that bitch right now. She's that bitch and anime watchers are not ready. Just like they're not ready for uh, Demon Slayer. Like Demon Slayer <laughs> Like, at least Demon Slayer keeps up the same tone. Like, Jujutsu Kaisen has this, like, drastic change in, like, tone because there's, like, there have been, like, a total of, like, three jokes. Three. There's been a total of three jokes since, like, the, like, anime where the anime ended and where the manga is at right now. A total of, like, three that I can, like, remember in my head. Three jokes. The drastic change anime watchers are not ready for that. Same with same with um My Hero Academia. That's the next manga I'm about to dive into because I've seen <clears throat> I've been keeping up with the manga but not like reading it. I've just seen what people have been talking about it online and you know anime watchers are the My Hero Academia fandom. You know they are not ready for that drastic ass change. But anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Um, sorry this is a little bit more rambly. I just, I had to get this off my chest. The Jujutsu Kaisen is so fucking good. If you sat here and watched all this and, and you haven't read the manga, what are you doing? Go read the manga. You can read it on, um, Shonen Jump has, like, a subscription service and it's, like, $2 a month, my guy. Like, go, go read it. Um, yeah, um, I can't wait for the movie that's gonna come out. Uh, if you're, if you're caught up with the manga, which hopefully you are if you're watching this video, uh, let me know some of your favorite moments down in the comments. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, -a, um, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. I need, I need compensation. I feel like I'm due compensation. Gay gay, I feel like I'm due compensation. Castaways. We are castaways.